Welcome back to your next installment of Tuesday Tech Tips. I got such a good response from my last video on organising your Outlook inbox using Quick Steps. I've had messages on LinkedIn and emails from colleagues telling me that they're implementing these changes. So I thought it'd be useful to create a follow on tip to help you get your unruly inbox under control. The next action on our quest to organise our emails is to get rid of all those subfolders we've been using to separate out our inbox. The list of folders we use to organise emails from each member of our team. Dragging emails into these boxes doesn't seem to take much time, but all those minutes add up. And it's those incremental improvements we make to our systems and processes that create a bigger shift towards success. So in this video, we'll be looking at Outlook's search feature to help us get rid of those pesky folders for good. Right, so we start back in our Outlook inbox and we've got some emails that are unread here. Uh, we've got some emails from colleagues and there's some emails in here from uh, different newsletters that we've signed up to. So I'm going to use the quick steps feature here that we covered in the last video to quickly go through these emails and file them into filing or reading. I'll speed up the video while I do that. Okay, so that just leaves us with emails from people that we need to take action on or to file. Now. I've set up some folders here, each for each person in the team. So we could click and drag over Peter and put Peter into his Peter folder. And Moz could go into Moz's folder. But also, we've got projects that we're working with. So with Nicole, who's my manager, she's the head of product. I've got one for Nicole, but also it would also go into product. So there's a barrier there for me to keep myself organized because Nicole's email could go into multiple, Peter's could go into multiple folders. We don't need these folders, so we can delete them. I'm going to show you how we organize our, our emails and use the search feature that Outlook provides so that we can do away with these folders for good. So let's select those folders, right click and delete. Now this is a dummy email address that I've set up for the purposes of sharing these videos. Uh, but in reality, Nicole Smith is my line manager. And so I've probably got at least 100 emails from her. And it might be emails requesting actions to be taken. It could be sharing updates with me. And we might have been CC'd into other people's emails as well. So to try and find information from Nicole, a specific email, I could be looking through a hundred or so emails trying to find one specific email. Now there's some search functionality that we've got straight away that we can use with Outlook to find emails easier. Uh, if we click into the search bar here and we click from, we can search for all emails from Nicole Smith and we've got the emails here and I've only got three but that could that would come up with a hundred or so emails. Now the next stage of searching would be to say well I know that it's um, my one-to-one -one paperwork but I can't remember if she's written one-to-one -one, as in the number one two one or and I can't remember if she's put one colon semicolon two semicolon one I don't know how she might have written it so I don't really want to search by subject but I do know it's an attachment, so we can click has attachment, and there we go. It filters out all of the other emails, and I only get the emails with attachments. So that's one way we can search for emails, which means we can get rid of some of those folders. Now, if we go back into our inbox, the next thing we can do to help us to search for emails is to categorize those emails by uh, projects or teams. So um, at the moment, we've got an email here from Peter and we've got one from Mars. Now, both of those work within sort of loosely within the product team. So both of these are for product. Lisa uh, is f uh, sending me uh, information around data and Simon, I've got emails from him from the quality team, but also a project that we're working on where we're teaching a learning and development practitioners apprenticeship. So if we also go back into my filing, Nicole Smith is also part of the product team. So we've got Nicole as part of product and we've got Moz and Peter. So if we go back into final, I'm just going to put Nicole back into my inbox for a second. So we've got a stack. So we know that Peter, Moz and Nicole are all part of the product team. So we're going to categorize them as product. So we select Peter's email, go to categorize all categories. Outlook gives you this a set of uh, categories that you can work with. So first of all, I'm going to change the red category. I'm going to select the red category label. I'm going to click rename and I'm going to call this critical action because there are actions that I know that I need to take and I want to highlight them as red emails. So then we can change again using the same method. We can change the names of these. And then we're going to need a new category for data. So we're going to click new going to call it data and we're going to make that one gray okay 
So we've got there some categories that we're used to using on a daily basis. So we've got Peter here, Moz and Nicole are all part of the product team. So if we shift and select all three of those, we can set those to product. So now it's labeled Peter, Moz and Nicole Blue for product team. Now, Peter and Moz are both also talking about the photo shoot. So they're in the product team, but they're also talking about the photo shoot. So if we shift and select both of those, we can also add photo shoot to that category. So again, here you can see you've got green and blue, you've got photo shoot, photo shoot and product team. Now, Nicole's one-to-one -one email is for product, but it could also be a critical action. So we've now set Nicole as a critical action and part of the product team. Lisa is data, so we'll shift and select those and we'll categorize those as data. And Simon is from the quality team, so we'll categorize it as quality, but it's also relating to the learning and development project that we're working on. So the practitioner's project. And we can add more and more of those categories if necessary. So what we can do now is file all of these emails into our filing. And we'll go into our filing and you can see now in the stack that they're labeled with the categories. And this time when we search, we can go into the search bar and we can search via the categories. So let's look at all of the emails from the product team. So we've got the email from Peter, we've got the email from Moz, and we've got the email that we labeled from Nicole Smith. Now, as you can see, we've only labeled one of those emails from Nicole as part of product because we've done it manually. The next step is to set up some rules so that we can automatically assign a category as the email comes in from Nicole or from Moz or from Peter. So let's close our filter and we'll find an email from Nicole here that we haven't assigned the, assigned the category to yet. So we're gonna right click on Nicole's email we're going to set the category to product team. We're going to right click again and we're going to create a rule. We're going to create a rule from Nicole Smith and we're going to go to the advanced options and then we're going to assign the emails from Nicole Smith to the product team category. Click next, finish. Yes, and then we okay. So now all of any email that comes in from Nicole will automatically be assigned to the product. So let's say that we want to assign the product category to every email that Peter McWinnie emails in. If we click the email, right click, again we go to rules, create rule, it's from Peter McWinnie. We go to advanced options, but this time the category is assigned to photo shoot and product team. Now not every email that's sent from Peter will be regarding the photo shoot, but it will always be part of the product team. So this time we click here in the edit rule, and we take off the photo shoot and we click OK. We can finish there. So if we go back to our inbox, the next time we get an email from Peter, Outlook will automatically assign it to the product category. And there you go, the emails come through and the category is automatically set. And Outlook also offers you an advanced search feature. So if we go to the search bar and then go to search tools, click the drop down arrow and go to advanced find. You can then search for words within the subject field or within the field in the message body or the frequently used text field. So let's say that there's a word that we know might be in the body of the text. If we paste in Shivago, which I saw in one of the emails, and then we click the frequently used text fields and then find now, it takes a minute and there you are. There's the email from Simon, which asks us for to proofread the Shivago script. So that's another way of searching for, for emails. Uh, it's a way of really kind of drilling down through your, your filing uh, folder uh, to find any email that's in your stack. And that's gonna save you from having those multiple folders down here on the left-hand side. You can always find the uh, emails you're looking for. You can auto assign categories to them so that you can organize via projects or from clients or in teams and you can have multiple categories. So that's this month's Tuesday Tech Tip. If you found it useful, then please leave me a comment in the box below, and I'll see you next month for another Tuesday Tech Tip.